Fix your crown. Fix your crown means know your worth. Since the beginning of this year, I've been walking through a heightened level of warfare. And, and, and I'm not talking about one area. I'm talking about warfare in mind and warfare in relationality, warfare with my career, warfare with my health. All of these different areas have been under attack at one point or another. And the enemy was throwing up all these battles, all these fights, all these distractions, one after another. If it wasn't this, then it was something else, just the same cycle on repeat. But I got to the point where enough was enough. Oh, I was tired of feeling as though I couldn't overcome. And when I got to this point, I was led by the Spirit to write out the names that describe the Lord. And every name that described God Almighty, I wrote it down. Now, as I was writing, I began to understand this, that all he is, is in his name. <laughs> That's why God told Moses, I am who I am. Tell them the I am has sent you. The Holy Spirit convicted me. If you can only get his name at the center of your heart, if you can only get his name at the throne of your mind, that's where things begin to happen. That's where breakthroughs start to come through. That's when change occurs. And so every day I began to speak, Jesus, you are my advocate. Jesus, you are the cornerstone. Jesus, you are the great high priest. Jesus, you are the holy one, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus, you are the alpha and the omega. You are the author and the finisher. You are almighty. You are the everlasting father. All that he is, is in his name. For every problem I had, God had a name for that. Come on, somebody. Every problem that I had, God had a name for that. And if you're out there and you need redemption, he's a redeemer. If you need deliverance, he's a deliverer. If you need protection, he's a protector. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. If you need provision, he is a provider. For those who hunger, he is the bread of life. For those who thirst, he is the fountain of living water. It's in the name, somebody. It's in the name. It's in the name. Fix your crown. Fix your crown means know your worth. A young kid about 15 years old got his first job at an ice cream parlor. Now on his second day of the job, this young boy was asked to get on his knees and scrape gum off the shop floor. Keep in mind that he was hired to serve ice cream. But this young man was very regimented. He signed up for the job because he was happy to scoop ice cream. There's nothing wrong with scraping gum off of a shop floor, but that's not what he signed up to do. So he refused the store owner's request. And what made him even more firm and determined to refuse was the fact that there was a young lady across the street opposite and he didn't want her to see him scraping gum off of a floor. But when the owner insisted and told him to do as he was told, he refused. She fired him on the spot. And for this young man, that was the first job he ever had. But also, it was the last job he ever had. He never worked for anyone else after that. And in one speech that he gave, he said, I owe that shop owner everything. That young boy is now Kevin O'Leary, who is worth over $300 million today. And the moral of the story is not that your single goal or motivation in life should be to make a million dollars, but it's that you should know your worth. That's what I mean when I say, fix your crown. Fix your crown means know your worth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that you may not perish but have eternal life. That's your worth. God knows the number of hairs on your head and before you speak a word, he knows it. That's how much you're worth to him. So I say, fix your crown, king. Fix your crown, queen. Do you know what God says about you? He says you are more than a conqueror. 
meaning that through hardship, through trouble, through good and bad times, we are in a continuous state of victory. We are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us. And oh, how I need you to grab a hold of this word and let it seep through into your soul. I need you to open your heart and spirit and really receive this. You are more than enough. You are good enough. You are pretty enough. You are smart enough. There was no mistake, no inadequacies when God formed you. Fix your crown because you've been saved by grace. You've been justified by faith. You are utterly secure in God and nothing will be able to separate you from the love of Jesus Christ. No one is able to snatch you out of his hand. God crowned you with glory and honor by creating you in his own image. That's why Psalms 139 14 says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, meaning you lack nothing. You're missing nothing. You're not short anywhere. There are no additional edits. God doesn't make mistakes, so hear me. Only God can determine your worth, and he found you worthy enough for his son to die for your sins. Fix your crown. A Danish philosopher told a story. One night, thieves broke into a jewelry store, but they didn't steal anything. Instead, they rearranged the price tags for each piece of jewelry. The high became low, and the low became high. Everything got mixed up. The next morning, all the expensive jewelry was sold as junk, and the junk jewelry was sold as the expensive items. Now the point here is that we live in a world where someone else is always trying to determine the value of something. And when it comes to your life, don't let value be determined by someone else. Your value is not determined by your job. It is not determined by your net worth. It is not determined by what you did or didn't do. Your value is determined by God. Sure, you've been through a lot, but God says you're still worth unconditional love. Sure, you've made mistakes. But God says you're forgiven. Sure you failed, but God says get up and stand and keep moving forward. So hear me when I say this. Fix your crown, child of God. Fix your crown. Embrace the security you have in God's word. And know your worth. Know your value. Many of us need to start living like someone who knows that they are valued by God. Fixing your crown means shift your perspective. Fix your perspective. You have enormous value because of what you can become. Now, whether you are aware of it or not, we all have a way of measuring our self-worth. We might not do it the same way someone else does, but in our own way, we do. And the best way to see what you associate your self-worth with is to think about the things that make you feel good about yourself. And then think, what happens to your self-worth if any of these things change? What happens if you lose your job? What happens if he or she lets you down? What happens if you lose your hair or abs? When I was at a low point, I was encouraged to take my insecurities to God. I prayed about it, searched the word of God, and slowly God started putting the broken pieces back together. My mindset about my value changed. My mindset about my worth changed. The more we know God's love for us, the more we love ourselves. A believer should know that God valued us enough to send his son on our behalf. We're important to him, each one of us. Many of us have felt the sting of our failures. Many of us have felt the sting of disappointment. Some have felt the pain of rejection. And I'm talking to the person who always looked over the other side, thinking the grass is greener. I'm talking to that person 
who looks over the street and says, well, they sure have it good. I want you to know that when we compare ourselves with others, we're not walking by faith. We're not living in faith. Fix your crown, child of God. The greatest discovery that anyone could ever make in their life is to discover who they are in Christ. It's extremely important for us to know who we are in God. Do you know why? Well, it's because if we don't know our worth in God, then this opens the door for other people to define us. When you know who you are in Christ, then you are readily able to reject negative thoughts and evil voices that try and tell you otherwise. We need to know that whatever we are going through in life, God is always with us and He is fully aware of the situation and will provide solution in His own time. We need to let the life of Jesus, from His birth to His death on the cross, be an example to us. Jesus was always talking about whom and what He is, what His mission in life is. He said He is the living water, the bread of life, the Son of God, the way, the truth, and the life. And for us, 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. That should be a declaration of our identity in God. That's why we need to confess. As Christians, it is very important for us to discover or rediscover ourselves if we feel we have lost our identity. So fix your crown. God is the creator of all, and you are His creation. Fix your crown, because the Lord Almighty, the one who holds all power, created you in His own image.